Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021. This is a general love reading and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course, if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. And the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, so let's see, Cancer, what is the overall energy for you in mid-August? All right, and we have healing, okay. So this is very, very positive. I'm very happy to see this. I feel like you are healing, maybe your person is healing, maybe the connection is healing. We're gonna get into this and see, but I have a feeling like this is mostly about you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of August. All right, so for your energy, we have ooh, the lovers, the world, and the Page of Wands. What is going on here with all the zodiacs? I feel like it's very similar energies playing out this time around. Um, I feel like you're making a decision here. You're making a decision to pretty much close out a cycle when it comes to a love connection. And I feel like you're actually a little bit enthusiastic about this, even though, I mean, closing out a cycle, it it actually can be a positive thing. A lot of times though, it does come with some negative emotions attached to it. But there is a sense of enthusiasm when it comes to looking in a new direction here. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see, for them we have the King of Swords, the Emperor, and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person is, um, they possibly go back and forth between feeling very, very determined, very, very decisive, feeling like they got things under control, possibly even being a little bit controlling <clears throat> at the same time, um, and then hesitating with that or just not being sure if they can actually manage that. So it's like they're feeling it, but can they manage and cope with the amount of determinism and the amount of control that they're wanting here. So it's it's a little bit interesting. We'll see you again. We'll see more when we clarify. So let's get the message for you here. We have the High Priestess, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Whatever the case here, Again, I don't want to say too much until we clarify, but definitely a lot of tuning into someone's intuition, someone's own intuition. That is what is going to bring victory here. That is what is finally going to bring some action in the right direction, whether this be for them, whether this be for you. I do feel like this is mostly um, for you. But let's actually clarify. All right, so let's see the lovers. All right, we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Pentacles showing up for you as well, and the Emperor also showing up for you as well. Okay, very interesting how you have some similar energies here with this person. Um, so definitely this decision that you're making, this connection is about this person that is showing up here. Obviously, I feel like this, like I said, this person was, um, even though you, you feel a lot of love for this person or you do have a lot of emotions for this person, you want to close out the cycle with them because there was a lot of back and forth or because this person was juggling too much on their plate. I It's almost coming in as this person um, recently just possibly being a little bit over controlling, wanting to have things their way. If it's not exactly controlling, it's them really wanting to have things be exactly the way that they would want things to be. Let me see the world. All 
the Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is the cycle that you're closing out. I feel like you were possibly giving to this. You were giving to this connection um, more than what you were receiving. And because you didn't feel like it was even, or maybe you didn't even realize that at first, but I feel like eventually you've come to realize that this is not exactly fair. I've been giving, 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 and I don't feel like I am receiving. I'm not getting back. Um, you're turning the wheel in a different direction here. So you're somehow closing out that cycle. So I don't know if it's exactly an ending. Like I'm not 100% sure that it's a break for all of you. I feel like for some of you it might be like a separation. And then for others of you, it could be that you are just not tolerating that anymore. And just ending out that cycle possibly by saying, you know what, I'm not going to give anymore. If you're not giving to me, and I do feel like that giving is mostly when it comes to time and energy, well then I'm also not going to be giving to you and I'm turning my wheel in a new direction and I'm going to start giving my attention, my energy, um, and my time on other things. And I feel like that's where your healing is coming in here. Let's see the page of wands. We have the moon. Let's get a couple more. And the Nine of Swords. So, okay, interesting. Even though you are a little enthusiastic about going in a new direction, because this just feels good to you, it feels like it is right, um, it's also possibly a little bit scary for you. You're, you're possibly doubting a little bit whether you are doing the right thing, and it's creating some stress and anxiety for you. Um, I actually feel like in the long run, you're moving away from stress and anxiety, but it just might not be apparent yet sometimes the energy that we need to um that we're moving away from it actually when we're moving away from it that same energy can feel more intense before it's actually released out of our frequency and i feel like that is what is happening here for you so i hope that made sense it's just that you're feeling stress and anxiety with this person because of the situation. As you move away from that, you're, you might feel that stress and anxiety increase before it actually fades. So what I'm getting here is, you know, there's no need to doubt your intuition. I feel like you do have very strong intuition here, right? Um, showing up here as well as this um, Queen of Cups that's right in your element as well. You have that intuition. Don't doubt it. All right, so let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the King of Swords. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is feeling determined. I, I'm even getting with this. It's, it's interesting the way it's coming through. Yes, there's this determinism. That's because this person is feeling left out in the cold. This person is feeling lonely in some way. Or now this person is feeling all of a sudden with this um, five of pentacles here that, yeah, you know, you stopped giving to them. You stopped giving to them and that's feeling a little bit challenging for them here with that nine of um, nine of wands. And this is what is making them feel more determined to go after something. Let's see. Let's see the emperor. Because these two cards are actually pretty positive. It's just that it's followed by the two of pentacles, which is kind of throwing their energy off here. Um, all right. We have the king of swords showing up again the Page of Swords, and the Sun. All right, so I actually feel like this person, even though they are feeling that loss now, like you have taken away whatever it was that you were giving to them. And for some of you, this could even just be energetic. It could, could just be on, on an energetic level. Like maybe you've just stopped occupying your mind 
with this person. Uh, maybe you've cut back on following them um, on social media. Maybe you've stopped talking about them with your friends, all right, in, in the case that you're not in contact. This person is picking up on that vibe and they're feeling that loss of energy from you. But what it's actually creating initially is a sense of resistance. It's creating a sense of resistance and I feel like it's making them a little bit more, um, it's making them a little bit more harsh, kind of like a defense mechanism. Um, almost like they're putting up this wall trying to be tough. However, this person is becoming more and more curious about you wanting to find out information about you because of that. Because they just feel that loss of whatever it was that you were giving to them. And for some of you, obviously, it could have even been um, on a physical level. And I feel like this person is kind of wanting to find out what the truth is here. I just get the sense that this person wants to have things, wants to have like everything their way. Like this is somebody who at the moment wants to have their cake and eat it too. And I'm not saying necessarily that this is bad. All right. Um, it's just a defense mechanism that's happening at the moment. You know, maybe before that, you know, this person may have been great. Maybe in the future, this person will, you know, come, come out of this. I don't know. But I feel like that's just what's been going on. Um, at the moment, and I actually feel like they're beginning to understand this behavior within themselves. They're beginning to understand this wall that they have up. Almost like they're guarded. Let's see the two pentacles. All right, the four of pentacles, the chariot, <laughs> there's your sign showing up here, and the world. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this person is, is a little bit stubborn. Um, when it comes to when it comes to how much they can give, pretty much, and it also comes in that this is because possibly of a, there could be a hidden fear here when it comes to commitment or just a fear of marriage or something like that, and. It, it's it's almost feeling like a fear of success at the same time. A fear of reaching the goal because once they reach the goal, then what? So it's actually very interesting. Um, I feel like this person, again, it's like stubbornness. Wanting to be right. And this has, is kind of like a block for them. And I feel like that because of that, they're suppressing some feelings here, which are actually, I mean, they're feeling, they're feeling that loss from you. I do see that there are, um, I feel like this person does see the potential for happiness with you and sees that potential for um, moving this forward where it would be like a complete type of a connection, like completion, which would be like marriage or long term. Um, but it's their stubbornness, they're holding back that wall that they're trying to protect themselves that is, that is the block here, at least for now. All right, so let's see the message here. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I actually didn't call this out, but I was clarifying the Six of Wands. The High Priestess to me is just all about your following your intuition here. Yeah, okay, so maybe some of you are even dealing with an Earth sign. I do kind of pick up that vibe here. Um, Definitely a whole bunch of signs are right, being showing up here, but that's just one that stands out to me. Um, yeah, this is all about you following your intuition in order to lead you to victory and to success when it comes to commitment. Okay, now maybe with this person, maybe not with this person. That isn't the point here, and I feel like 
it doesn't matter, all right? It's just that what you're doing is leading you in that direction, which is going to be for your highest good regardless. And I do see that there is action here that is being taken. Let's see the Ace of Swords. All right, we have the Three of Swords. All right, so this is the guidance for you then here. That, you know what, sometimes you have to take action that might be a little bit painful either for you or for the other person. If that's what you feel like your intuition is telling you, then, you know, this is ultimately going to be for your highest good. Taking some kind of action that is based on your truth, that is based in self-worth and on what you truly deserve, what you are truly worth here and what you truly stand for. Taking action for what you stand for, all right? That might, yeah, it might come with some pain, either to you or to the other person, maybe both. But that is what is ultimately leading to success here, and that is what is ultimately leading to you having somebody who is going to give you everything that you deserve, all right? The King of Pentacles, to actually give you at least as much as you were giving to them. All right, Cancer. So, yeah, again might be this person for some of you but it doesn't it doesn't matter All right, so let's see the final message if this resonated and definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with here all right, and we have the cardinal moon be bold and make the first move and i feel like you are doing that you're making a move here you're making a move here. You're a little bit um, doubtful about it, but deep down, your intuition is telling you to make this move that you are making, okay? Whatever that is. In order to bring you what it is that you deserve. Standing up for your truth, basically. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.